I started out with the 550. I bought it on eBay used, so, you know, if it's off a little bit, it might be that it's, uh, you know, because it's used. But I've ran it, and it's been fine for me, so. And I'm going to put these in the ice bath to check them. Yeah, but this one here is uh, definitely showing a difference. This meter here, I had problems with it. That's why I'm not running it anymore. Um, what would happen is, um, say that I've had like 20 pounds of pressure on a suction side, and I wanted a little bit, let a little gas out. I was opening these valves, and there was nothing coming through. Um, made sure my Schrader valves was, you know, everything was fine with the Schrader valves because I would loosen up this, and I'd be getting gas through here. But for some reason, with these two ports open, I wasn't getting nothing through the holes. So, I don't trust it. If I have a meter that I don't trust, uh, I will not use it. What's the sense? You could have equipment that you could use that works for us, you know? Alright, let me put this stuff in the ice bath. And uh, Before I do that, I want to switch these two probes and see if there's a difference. Now, like I said, these are low because I did stick them in the ice. And then I pulled them out. I, I made a mistake. Um, so, yeah, it's still warming up to room temperature. How are you supposed to plug these probes in for us before you even start the meter up? And then they say give it a couple of couple of uh, minutes to stabilize before you put it on your pipes or whatnot. Or, you know, half a minute or whatever. But they, that's what they tell you to do. Alright, now look on these here. I'm within a point of a 7.8, 7.3.8 and 7.3.9. So that's right on. Look at this. Within one. Within point one. Now look at this. Now look at this one, guys. I'm right on the money here. So... You know, who knows? Maybe it just take a little little while to uh, to stabilize. Yeah, this one here is definitely an issue. The one I'm not using. But I want to know if these probes are good because if for uh, some reason one of these other probes break, I'll be able to grab it. I have used, you know, I could use these probes. Let me switch them around. All right, guys. I switched the probes around. And before... See, so they're basically just the opposite. So one of these probes on this meter is off. One of them two probes that I'm running on the 557. 557 is off. So and it's a good thing I'm doing this test. Off, off point 0.2. Now this one's off point 0.5. Now this just just been sitting here. Just been sitting here on the... On the uh, the bench here, so I don't know. The stuff's kind of like moving around temperature-wise, but I'm, you know, I'm within uh, half a degree. So there we, you know, come on now. All right, what it could be is I had one, one down, and one up. So maybe that's what it was. It was sensing, you know, the temperature of this deck. Maybe that's what I need to do is have. Um, have that probe up. Have this probe up. Same thing with this. Let's 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 do a uh, a comparison here. I want to make sure I do a, a fair test on this stuff. You know, within a half of a degree, I'm good with any kind of tests um, that I would perform and uh, be confident with the readings I'm getting. All right, I'm going to put them in the ice bath now. All right, guys, I got all six probes in the ice bath. I'm going to give it a little bit to um, calculate. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank all my subscribers, um, all the guys that have given me positive feedback. I've been on YouTube doing videos now for about three months, loading videos, and um, I made a lot of good friends on YouTube here, and I get a lot of good support and people do, people telling me to you know keep up the you know the videos that he, they enjoy. I'm a lot of a lot of good heavy hitters too, also you know. Um, so you know I've had a couple some negative stuff happen, but overall it's been a pretty good experience. So yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to all the guys that um, enjoy watching my videos. Not every, not everybody do. Some people don't like them, and well, that's fine. You know, it is what it is. That's what makes the world go round. I know I'm not perfect. I never claim to be. I just try to do the best I can, and 
Um, okay, so let's see what's happening here with this stuff. I'll make sure I give it a fair test. Everything's you know in in the ice bath. Yeah, I'm close there. Now I'm them two. This is my main go-to meter, the 570. I love this thing. Damn close there, you know, within five, within half a degree. Oh, this one's reading um, a little bit different readings. 32.7, 32.5, then this one is 29, basically 29, this one's 32. Now over here on the other, this one here is 27.5 on both of these. The ones that I was concerned about, so isn't that interesting? So on 27.5 on the, uh, the 557, Basically 28.9, 28.4 on the 570, and um, on 32.5 here. Interesting. On the 550. So between this meter, the 550, and the 570, I am uh, three and a half degrees off. Now on this meter I did go in like Jim Burton had mentioned and I go into the settings and change it to a surface probe. Um, there's a couple of settings that you can set, set these to and it was set to surface uh, surface probe because um, that's basically what I do when I'm, when I'm testing stuff. Maybe I need to switch this over to submerged probe on this one meter to, to, for this test. You know what I'm saying? So right now on this uh, 570, I'm 28.4. On the 557, I'm 27.3, which is within one degree. And this one's definitely um, very interesting. Now, I'm just doing this test. I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. Uh, it's just real time here, doing my stuff real time. Like, I do my work real time. And um, sometimes I get a lot of, uh, you know... A lot of debate happening, let's put it that way. That's fine. Debate is good. You know, just just stating that I'm not claiming to be an expert. This is just, you know, a test I'm doing. And I'm learning just like everybody else is learning every every day. So I'll just make figure I'd mention that. Keep everything on the up and up. Hmm. Interesting. Well guys, I appreciate you watching and uh you know, I'm going to be running this meter. This is the meter I go with. You know, if I'm within a couple of degrees or whatever, it is what it is. What I'm going to probably try doing is I'm going to take these probes here and so take the readings that I'm at now and I'll switch it over to this meter. These two probes and these two probes I'll switch and see what the comparison is uh, between the two. Okay? Hang on. Alright guys, this is what I did now here. I left everything inside the ice water. And I took the probes that were on the 557, okay? And I moved them probes over to this meter, the 550. And I took the meter probes that were on a 550, unplugged them, and moved them over to this meter. Before I moved anything, I marked down the temperature readings. On the 557, originally it was 27.3, 27.5 with the probes. Now I switched the probes over and... It's the meter itself that's that might be off that's reading the difference because check this out guys. The 550 before I switched the, the probes over, I took the readings and um, so it's in the meter that the differential is between the temperatures. It's not the probes. The probes are right on. Isn't that interesting?
Now let me take the um, the probes off the 570 and switch them over to the 550. I'll keep the uh, information. I'll write the information down and let's see what happens there. Very interesting. Okay, guys, I switched the probes over from um, the 550 to the 570 and from the 570 over to the 550. And um, these, now, when I first hooked all this stuff up, those were the probes that came with individual meters, just so you know. And I wrote the temperature down before I removed anything on the 570, which we got here in. Um, was 27 look at look at 27 27.5 27.7 27.7 27.1 so and then on a 550 um the 550 was 3 32.2 and we're 32 um 32.2 and I'm 31.8 so what's happening here is the differential is, is happening inside the meter and it's not the probes. Alright guys, so basically what I found was the 570 is reading 27.3. Uh, basically I got it right here. Even if I switched the probes around it didn't matter. So the 570 which I use all the time is um, 27.5. The 557 is 27.5. And the 550, which, you know, I did buy used off eBay, so I am off with that one. Even if I move the probes around, it doesn't really matter, so. I know the probes are accurate because I switched them. But it's in the meter, so maybe that meter's bad. You know, five degrees off, that's a lot. Three, four, five, five degrees off that meter. All right, guys. I think I might have figured out what's going on here. Um, maximum values. We got min max values on these meters. So that's the maximum value, which brings me over to where the 550 ranges are. Um, I'll go to the the mean. And then it says normal. That's normal. Minimal. And we'll hit max. Maximum values. So I know the 550 is a certain type of meter. And also the 557 and the 570 comes into different categories. So that's interesting. As soon as I go maximum to maximum values, everything changes here. So that's something I'm going to need to look into a little further. This one I got a setback. I played around with it, but um, just thought I'd share that with you. And I don't know if this has a min max feature. I'm going to try playing with this, see if it's got a min max feature. Also, the 550. Alright, this has got a min max setting, but when I do the min max on this one, minimum, maximum, and mean. Nothing seems to change here on the 550. This one here is maximum. Mean values. And normal. This other one, I'm gonna get back to my settings, my mode, and so we'll come back over because I played around with it. Well, any feedback? Um, appreciate it. And appreciate you, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'll be making more videos here very shortly. Thank you.